Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Robbie with me. We just lost 2-0 to West Ham here at the Emirates. Thierry Henry was in the stadium today. Xhaka was back today. Kai Havertz. Yeah, Xhaka was back today. Yeah, Xhaka was back today. A couple of players that <laughs> would have loved to see on the pitch today. Yeah, it was really, really poor today. A really poor performance. I think our players had a great Christmas. <laughs> too much, too much no, to serious, they must have done. They were so flat today, there was no intensity. You look at when we was at Liverpool, the way we pressing were everything. pressing, yeah. the energy, the, the, the speed of play, everything about us was so good. It started like, like it felt like it started like started that. It started like that and then, yeah. no, it was from the beginning for me, I was like, and it's a bit flat, a bit slow. The, the build-up play was slow, mm. we were overplaying, you know what I mean? Players holding on to the ball too much. Players looking for that perfect opening yeah. to score the perfect goal. You know what I mean? Some of some of the goals that we've got this season, when we've been up against it, have been shots that have maybe deflected, deflected in. Man have C, a yeah, shot. Yeah. Have a shot. I thought it was a very poor performance today. And all I can think of is they had a great Christmas. That you know they were <laughs> sat around the dinner table. They were eating lots of food. Too many pies. They were took lots of pies. Your <laughs> Guinness punch they were drinking. You know what I mean? Must be. Must be because I can't work out. I can't work out why they were so flat today. This is you know I mean they, they've had more rest. You know them and West Ham have had more rest than any other team. True. True. Right? Because we played on Saturday. We were nearly nearly a week. Yep. Why were we so flat? Why were we so and then if you play like that in the Premier League against good sides who are very well organised, you'll get punished. Yeah. And basically that's what happened to us. They, they had three chances in the game. Scored One was a penalty three, two, that they so, missed. Yeah. Two of the others they scored. You know what I mean? It's, it, it, the, so, the, the original sucker punch. So nothing on the refs today for you? Because that, that ball going out, honestly, when you see that, it's ridiculous. I, I, I don't I'm, know what's I'm, going I'm, on. That's the other thing. That's, killer, I said earlier, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've got a ring doorbell on my house. So we'll, we'll pick that up. Yeah? Right? There's, there's cameras everywhere now. Man's got... If I go around to everybody here now, everyone pull out of their phone. There's yeah. a camera on it. Camera, camera here? Camera in HD. No, 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 We're talking to a camera. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. In that ground, there's so many well, cameras, right? I'm fed up <laughs> of going to games and hearing, oh, we couldn't conclusively yeah. find our angle. Yeah. What, what, what's going on with the, the Premier League with the millions? That's oh, ridiculous. No, not millions, billions, billions, billions yeah. in this game can't find a camera angle. That's two games now, Newcastle yep. and today. It's not the excuse for losing, but it's not good enough. Facts. It's not good enough for Facts. this league. You know what I mean? And then I feel what the referees are doing now is that they're like, well, close, man. I'll leave it to VAR. Let them come back with me and tell me whether it went over or not. Whereas back in the day, they would have given a decision, right? They're not doing that now. They're leaving a lot of things to the VAR. Yeah. And then the VAR just coming back and say, well, we you know what? Bro, we've had a look at it from, you know, we can't, can you yeah. not find an angle? Ridiculous. Where's, Ridiculous. The, where's the cameras? Ridiculous. They're hiding. They went with the ref on the field uh, decision. They're honestly, hiding. Honestly, to me, to me, that, and, and that was, you know, whether we like it or not, we don't want to make excuses, but it's a big turning point in the game because we First were in total control until that happened. But, Having said that, even still, I still didn't like the performance today. It was still flat. It was still too mm. slow. That's not how I've seen us playing here at the um, at the Emirates this season. Yeah. And if you do that against good sides, you're going to get punished because, you know, the you know teams like West Ham they just wait for that little transitional moment. Yep. And then bang, and they, then they, they catch sit you. Back, and they yeah, sit back yeah. And, low and, block. And, and and then they'll sit back and say, right, come. Oh, yeah. And then hopefully, you see, they were playing for a corner. Oh. They've got James Ward-Prowse, one of the best deliverers of corners yep. in the business. So they play for those things. They, you know I mean, it's a game plan. And yeah. it worked perfectly for them today. But I just felt that we were really poor today. And uh, I think the players, the manager, everybody's going to be kicking themselves in Big there time. today because that's a missed opportunity. Mavropanos, Robbie. Mavropanos scored They didn't even have their best defenders out, right? Because there was no Zuma. I was thinking we'd be able to exploit that. Yeah. A Bonner. Who I saw against Liverpool, he was dreadful. Yeah. Right? You know, we, we Paqueta come off. We didn't <laughs> but we didn't really put them under serious, serious pressure because everything was so slow. So even though, you know, we were trying, you can't fault the effort. I thought all the guard, he's trying, yeah. he's trying to make things happen. But it's all too slow. And then once they got that one goal up, they'll take a draw. Exactly. And then you know what I mean, if they get another chance to get another corner, that's their chance to get it in. It's the perfect game plan by Moyes executed he's been doing it for years and we got done by it and we got to now really step it up against you know when we play go to play Fulham now because 
even though Liverpool was a good point, it still now looks like a yeah. lot of drop points. Mm -hmm. It's like one point out of six. Mm. And then all of a sudden now City are breathing down our neck. Yeah. I mean, it's, that goes. I'm not going to get too, yeah, where are you gonna, at? Cause cause some get too carried going, away yeah. because the thing is, these Christmas periods, sometimes you get some funny results. Mm -hmm. We saw the Villa one. We saw, you know what I mean? So, yeah, you, can, you can get some strange results over the Christmas. But today, I feel today we dropped the ball today, man. We we that performance was not good enough no, from from this Arsenal lost. team. You know what I mean? It, you know lost. they're gonna be kicking United themselves. It happens. I'm not gonna get. Liverpool listen, we're still two points off the top. Well, There's still well, loads of games well, to play. Well, you know what I mean? We go out, beat Fulham. You know what I mean? Someone draws away. We could be back on back the top. Up, yeah. You never know. Yeah. Can't get carried away with it, but. It's just, you know, at home it's disappointing and, you know, and I can't get carried away because that first defeat at home. Yeah, lost our, yeah, lost our, you know? our home lost record. Our undefeated record at home, which is, which is a shame as well. So, Miss Havertz? Definitely. Yeah. I thought, you know, I said it in the studio yeah. that I would have rather had Smith Rowe in the midfielder because I think he's more of a natural yeah. midfielder. Um, we definitely miss Havert, um, Havertz's uh, physicality as well. Yeah. You know, I mean, I thought there was a lot of occasions where, say, for instance, Kudos in particular was bumping players off the ball too easy in midfield. And Declan Rice had a poor game today. The Declan Rice derby. Yeah, he had a I mean, poor he... game. I have to say one thing. I can't. I don't get the West Ham fans having a go at Declan Rice, though. What, what, what is wrong with these fans? If it weren't for this guy, you lot wouldn't have won no... They're, they're champions of Europe, they're singing. Yeah. Uh, we, we can hear Conference obviously. League. Yeah. <laughs> champions of Europe. Yeah. All right, okay, you are. Yeah, let's... <laughs> All right, cool. That's a bit like, that's how I beat, I'll say you're the best team in England for winning the Carabao Cup. I mean, what? It's a ridiculous, man. But listen, they have their fun. They can make up the noise tonight. They've won the game, but champions of Europe. <laughs> Conference League. <laughs> right? No, 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 no. But yeah, the poor game, poor game for Declan Rice. Um, today, he'd be gutted as well because he would have wanted to do well. But I don't get West Ham fans giving him stick because he's a guy who was a great servant to your club. You knew he was going to move on at some stage and he has come to a big club and you know it, right? But fair play to the West Ham fans. They won the game today and they executed their plan brilliantly and they've now taken some bigs, they've beaten us. Yep. They beat Tottenham at um, yep. their ground. They, you know I mean, um, ooh, they beat United. Yeah, they they've taken scalps. some big scalps. Yeah. Beat Thank Chelsea. Love Rob, big up man. We'll be back. Robbie.